Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you watch the Trixie Mattel video that she's nominated for? Yes, I did. Okay, what'd you think? Freaks me out. I love her so much. She freaks me out so much, and I purposely made myself watch it. It's something about the makeup that... <laughs> Is it like the bad contour? Yes. I, I think it's oh, part wow. of it. Oh, wow. I like how Matt joined. Oh, wow. <laughs> but like, it's skinny legend Matt Harris. But like, there's something about modern day drag queen makeup. Well, no, it's not all. It's just that. I know, but like that makeup. style. Yeah. Right. That, that. I now understand what people feel when they like are afraid of clowns and stuff. Because okay. they think, I look at some of those drag queens, I'm like, they're going to kill me. <laughs> when she, I'm not even shitting you. When she was standing there with the knife, I physically was like, oh my God. <laughs> don't it's come a... for her. <laughs> don't, don't come for her contour. That shit is blended. Yes, God. Yeah. No, it's a, the makeup's amazing. No, yeah, but there's amazing. something about it. Is it just like too over-exaggerated for you? No, it's the big, it's the way they make the cheeks look really big. Okay. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> God damn it. Welcome to uh, What's Trixie, he saying? Trixie Mattel talk. With is he John bummed out that, or is he, no, he's, oh, he's like laughing laugh, at yeah. laugh cry emoji. But no, like, I thought it was great. No, she's she was like, fucking hilarious. Dude, like, I love It was her. so like, good. And also I was like. Her humor is so dry. It's so great. But it wasn't. And the, you, know what the, you know what the thing that I loved about it? Is that she was like, for real. Like, yeah. she wasn't fucking up on purpose, right. but when she fucked up, she just went with it and was like, fuck, you You guys didn't think I was going to yeah. fuck <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she kind of broke character for a bit. Oh, yeah. And it was just, it was really funny to watch. And yeah. It was really genuine. And uh -huh. it, it made me, it literally made me laugh like two or three times. She's so funny. Yeah. She makes me cat. I was kind of, I was kind of bummed out she cut the crust off. Who eats crust? Crusts are great. It's the most expensive. Well, on shitty bread, it's not. Also, I was just waiting for a clip one of those fucking fingernails off, dude. <laughs> She's like, huh, huh, huh. I'm like, no, 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 no. Keep I, them away from the is, nails. Is you can't that, eat those. Is it that video where she makes the two drinks and, like, the one is just straight vodka and she yeah, puts yeah, yeah. coloring mm -hmm. in it? <laughs> yeah. She's like, this is the drink you make for your friend. And she, like, puts actual mixers in it. She's yeah. like, this is the one you make for yourself. And it's all vodka with food coloring. Yeah. She's like, and you just walk around like, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna have one drink. Meanwhile, you're just getting. You, she's like, you get so drunk, you see the eyes of Jesus. Is yeah, that what sounds about right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jeff, if you go to the rude uh, Facebook page, my favorite drag queen, Trixie Mattel, was nominated for uh, a James fucking a James Beard, Beard award. award because she did a video with GQ. It's so weird about making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a cocktail. And if you don't know, James Beard Awards are basically the Emmys for food. Like, but she was nominated for the humor category. Yes. So, but I hope she fucking. Wins. No, but it's you imagine it's still a really wins. big fucking honor. No, yeah, it's like, amazing. It's great. It's crazy. Also, pre-order uh, One Stone on iTunes. What's that? She has an album coming out. There's no way I'm fucking buying it. <laughs> no, it's actually she's a she's a really talented country western it's, singer. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. I'll, I'll, oh wow. <laughs> I'll uh, <laughs> I'll play you some after we okay, cool. get off the line. But yeah, she actually so she came out with an album last year called Two Birds, and she's coming out with her sophomore album called One Stone. <laughs> and I was so mad at her that she made two birds of one stone. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> And the album covers, like last last time, the album cover was like herself as a drag queen and herself as a boy, like dressed together, like back to back on an album cover, like in front of like a wild plane. And then this time, as a boy, she's got like a big afro and like a mustache and like a Simon and Garfunkel kind of look. To her. <laughs> and then nice. like as a girl, she's like wearing like. Like a little like like head wrap thing mm. and like very Cher nineteen seventies. Speaking of Simon Garfunkel, I listened to the first aid kit version of America that they played on KXP oh, yeah, yeah. and burst into tears today. Yeah, John played it. They're having I, a pledge drive. Yeah, I, I was listening. I fucking yeah. We God that. By the way, everybody, if you want to listen to a beautiful cover of America, but the the. Uh, 
by Simon and Garfunkel. Simon and Gar Garfunkel song. Look up the version on YouTube by uh, First, First Aid, Aid Kit. Kit at KEXP. It's yeah. just the two of them. It's very good. Their voices are fucking amazing. Fantastic. Well, let's yeah. get into the actual pre-show and not talk about Trixie Mattel, even though I could talk about her yeah. for the rest of my life. Um, pre-show topic is... Favorite fast food. I have two answers for this. Okay. Okay. Are, I have a question, though. Are we counting convenience store food? Sure. That's fast food. Okay. Yeah. So I have three answers for this. <laughs> Favorite sober fast food? Okay. Taco Bell. Okay. Favorite drunk fast food? Mm hmm Quarter Pound Big Bite at 7-Eleven. Uh, Monterey Jack Taquito at 7-Eleven. And uh, McDouble at McDonald's. Oh. I didn't hear what I thought I was going to hear. What? I'll get to it. Mm. Um, mine is... And people start telling us... What's up, Jeremy? Stuff and we can What's up, Dave? Mike? Uh, mine is... None. I don't eat fast food. Like, you don't go anywhere where the food is fast. No. You go to I, I, do, I do every now and then. But I don't like it. it. It's it's convenience food for me. It's literally just sustenance. Okay. I don't enjoy it. Okay. I do enjoy Chick Fil A, but I don't go there because they're hateful shit bags. Yeah, and I go there because I'm homophobic. And they're <laughs> I'm kidding. It's like wait a minute. But um, we get it. You're classy, is what Matt said. Yeah. I'm better than you is what I'm saying, Matt. I'm better than you. White Castle. Ooh. Oh, man, I wish there was I go White to St. Castle Louis right often for work. I gorge on them. Perfectly disgusting. I do, set, uh, yeah. Yeah, White Castle burgers frozen. Still just as good. Last time, I, last time I had White Castle, I was in Indiana. It was five years ago. Mm -hmm. And we made a specific trip to White Castle just so we could have... Things. Oh, you like Five Guys. If Five Guys doesn't count, then Wendy's five spicy, guys counts. spicy yeah. chicken sandwich, dipping fries, and chocolate frosting. Yeah. Dope. I mean, I, okay, so fi I like Five Guys. Okay. Like, I, I genuinely enjoy... See, well, now, there's a caveat. Okay. Jeremy said he's addicted to the new sushi burrito place. El Dorito? Nice. Where's that? Mm -hmm. Or El Ed, Dorito? Matt said, Wendy's, Taco Bell, anything but Arby's. Bitch, you didn't even put McDonald's on there. I know you always have like seven See, bags. when I when I eat that kind of stuff, I loved Arby's. I fucked Arby's up. horsey sauce. Disgusting. It's But it's that weird, homogenous meat. You know what I mean? Like, you get the turkey, you get the roast beef, you get whatever the fuck, and it all has the same texture. White Marsh, though. It's in White Marsh. Um, What's up, Alicia? How you doing? Um... Interesting. Yeah, Arby's is disgusting. I agree with you on that, Matt. For sure. Okay, so my caveat on not eating that bullshit is as soon as I have three or four of these, it's all I want. Mm -hmm. Or at least when I'm coming home at night, I'll go to Rofo. Oh, you get that fried chicken. Get that fried chicken. I do like Rofo Farms fried chicken. That's what I was expecting you to say. But I. But you don't need I it enough. I forgot about that. Right. Because I just thought about convenience store food because that's what I had last Friday was a quarter pound big bite <laughs> and a Monterey Jack taquito. And that was delicious. The, I the jalapeno used to, cream cheese taquitos are good too. Where's that from? 7 Eleven. Okay. You are a garbage person. Yes. Th those hot dogs though, I could eat like 12 of them. What, the devil dogs? No, 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 no. The quarter pound big bite. Oh. I mean, it's a devil dog. Put you a little chili on it. Mm, I don't want the chili. I, just want the chili. I don't want your chili. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so the one the one food that i miss is kfc i love kfc oh my mom wanted me to say that that's her favorite is kfc oh patty's not coming on uh she was still driving home oh okay i talked to her um yeah now her favorite is kfc with mashed potatoes and gravy and coleslaw that's her favorite so everybody that's just tuning in um okay it's like like Edo, but it's like burrito, but it starts with Edo. So Edo. Matt like. says Popeyes is better than KFC. I tend to agree. Mm, yeah, I mean, but I like KFC's mashed potatoes and gravy better. We're talking about favorite uh, fast food. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Taco Bell, 100%. So good. 
They, um... Yeah. What's the new thing that they... Oh, uh, the nacho fries are actually really good. Really? I've heard... I've, I've seen a lot of people go and eat them, and they're just like, eh. They're like limp fries with, like, Mexican seasoning on them. The whole but, thing, though, is the cheese sauce, right? Yeah, you like, that's, it's, it's, fine. it's just a vehicle for the cheese sauce. Exactly. Best drunk fast food, 7-Eleven spicy bite with chili cheese, onions, and jalapenos. Fuck... Yes. Yeah, that really Bojangles good. for chicken. No, Bojangles mm. for sweet tea. I had a Bojangles chicken sandwich like a couple months ago. It was Where not good. Bojangles? There's one by Leanna's parents' house. Where is we it? were going to D.C. for a wedding. And no, oh, you gotta go to Bojangles like south of Virginia. It, motherfucker, it's Bojangles. It's not gonna taste any different. It, it will. No, it won't. It was a more. terrible chicken sandwich. Yeah. Because I was like missing uh, Chick-fil-A. Wendy's Baconator Fries. That's a thing. What the fuck is that? Can you please describe what that is? Bojangles is greasy as fuck. Tell us about the Baconator fries. Is yeah, it like the sandwich that? except all the shits on the fries? Fri or like or a Baconator fries with fries. On it. It's Matt still talking about Popeyes. I also judge... See, I don't like Popeyes chicken better than KFC's for one reason. I don't know what Popeyes is, but I know what Popeyes is. Maybe you should learn how to speak English. I speak Baltimore. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, well... Um, JJ, this is this is your time to shine. This is JJ... Favorite It's your food. It's, it's favorite Every, JJ food. Yeah. Um, KFC. Just with cheese and bacon. Ooh. Ooh. You can get them like that. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Except for Burger King is trash. Yeah. Um, oh, Wait, no, that's Wendy's. Sorry. But Burger King is trash is what yeah. I wanted to say. Um, I also don't really like Wendy's, but whatever. I judge... Fried chicken places by how good their chicken is when it's cold. KFC beats everybody's. Mm. Cold KFC is the greatest fucking food in the world. Cold KFC is good. Cold chives. Cold Royal Farms chicken is good too. Yeah, cold Rofo is fucking great. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, why do they call it Rofo? We, I mean, we've talked about this. Instead we, of Rofa. It should be Rofa. Yeah. Rofa. But they just wanted the alliteration of it. Yeah, people are illiterate. Yeah. Um, Rofo remains king, if that counts. Yes. You you get no argument. Yeah, no argument. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely no. none. Um, Especially if you're drunk and you go and you order yourself three drumsticks and you walk down the street back to your house eating the drumsticks, throwing the bones and trash cans on the way home. <laughs> B BK sucks since they got rid of the old chicken sandwich. I, I didn't BK know they got rid of it. Always. But their old chicken sandwich is awesome. The long one is really good. Uh, their fries taste like shit to me. I really. Oh, I, hey, Brian, we're talking about favorite fast food. Join yeah, us. Brian should know about this shit, too. Brian eats garbage food. <laughs> Rofo is my fave. I grew up with Alicia. She, she well, in the same neighborhood. She does. She lives in it, had Atlanta Rofo now? chicken in her bridal shower. Had it cold that night. It was fantastic. Fuck Hell yeah. Yeah, Rofo yeah those wedge, wedge fries. fries okay, they're okay. Look, if you they, get the cheese Brian Levy coming in hard. <laughs> Three McDoubles with extra onions and a large coat. Fuck. Yeah, God damn, homie. Remember that time we got the goth whoppers from Burger King? Yes, I remember The that. goth whoppers. I remember yeah, those and, all black ones. Yeah, and they made your shit in, like radioactive green. Mm. Like liter neon green. And I thought I was dying. Yeah, the long chicken sandwich was awesome. Their old, when, <laughs> their old fish sandwich was good, too. I'm a sucker for a fried fish sandwich. You like the, you like the filet of fish don't you? Uh, if if I ever eat at McDonald's ever again, it would be a filet of fish. You're an actual piece of shit. But see, you got to do it. What you got to <laughs> do? You never ever judge me. You got to you got to get no, two I, of them. I don't know. You got to get two of them. Take the insides out of one. Brian put them in the is other. the worst eater ever. You let Brian live. <laughs> yeah, Alicia. What? Holy shit! Or two Big Macs. <laughs> and a quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, Hell Royale with yeah. cheese. What's up? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Wait. Oh, it's the same thing. I will say, after uh, after Pulp Fiction, I ate fries with mayonnaise all the time. It's so good. Ugh, I can't even look. It's so it. good. Ugh. Jane, how's it going? Jane, we're talking about uh, fast food. What's your favorite fast food? Favorite fast food, so good. I know Jane Brown is. Every time I'm in Towson, I go to Taco Bell because there's not one really that close. Not every I... time, but when I have the opportunity, I do it. Won't go to McDonald's, but I will go for a shamrock shake. Mm. Oh, and those are. I remember those. Those are weird. Minty. They should be happening now, right? Yeah, they're mm. like yeah. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Kevin, we're talking about um, favorite fast food. 
So we've gotten a lot of uh, good answers. Yeah. Taco Bell breakfast is good too. Yes, the uh, Taco Bell is best high food. The Crunch Wrap yeah. is it the Crunch Wrap Supreme? The breakfast Crunch Wrap? It's like where they put they put like eggs and hash browns, and they wrap it in a tortilla with like bacon in right. it, and then you put the breakfast salsa on it because they have special sauce for the breakfast only. To 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 let you know the last time okay. the double decker taco is my jam. Oh, oh shit! A lot of people coming in here. Oh, Jane Brown said Culver's. What the fuck is Culver's? What the f oh, you know what's good? Pretend what I don't. What a burger is delicious. <laughs> Jane said, "Look, I pretend I don't eat fast food, but I love that shit." The Grand Mac promo is epic to me. Everyone who works there is high. Yeah, at, at, at what do you get Taco at Taco Bell? Bell? Yeah. Oh, at Taco Bell, I get usually a cheesy gordita crunch. Beefy Fritos burrito. Double decker taco. Um, what's a double? Decker? An order of nachos. And depending on if I'm feeling sassy, I sometimes get the cheese roll up because oh, sassy. I'm just actual <laughs> garbage. I also like chicken quesadilla every once in a while. What's uh, a double decker taco? The beef quesadilla is good. Uh, just say all fucking Taco Bell. All of it except for stuff with beans in it because I don't like beans. People have been complaining about IHOP on Pratt Street on my homepage, but that bullshit is because IHOP rules. Cookout oh, but is they're great bullshit. because you can get 800 things for a dollar. What is cookout? What's cookout? Who's saying that? Matt. Is that like in the south somewhere? I feel like I've heard that. The Great Mac promo is epic to me. Kevin, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, Jane, what? you gotta explain where you're talking about too because we don't live in Chicago. Is it a Chicago the place? The Mexamelt. I do remember the Mexamelt. Soft taco. What's that? Soft taco with beans wrapped around on a crunch. Oh, I, yeah, that I Waffle think... House. They've got good pie. Yeah. Um. Haven't tried cookout yet. Okay, so Alicia's... yeah, it's in the south. It's like burgers and hot dogs. Okay, because oh, Alicia, okay. Alicia, you're in Atlanta, right? Um. Yeah, I think I think that double decker taco is probably the last thing I ever had at Taco Bell, and that was years ago when it first yeah. came out. You know what's good is when you get the Doritos Loco. Do they still do Mexican pizzas? I think so. Right. Matt, do they still do Mexican pizza? Um, okay. They do, when they still do the there. Doritos Locos taco shell right. inside the cheesy gordita crunch. Mm. Watch out. Cookout is good. Well, Jeff's in Atlanta too. Well, near Atlanta. He's in... McDonald's in Ohio has a Grand Mac, Big Mac, and Mac Jr. Why can't I, why am I blanking on where you're at, Jeff? It's where they do the, oh, he's in Augusta. That's it. Um, I like Whataburger. Anybody been to a Whataburger? Jane, you just you just had put the re the fucking website like I can touch it and it's going to come up. <laughs> Chipotle has a pretty Culver's. good Culver's. Chipotle doesn't make quesadillas, or do they? I've never gotten a quesadilla at Chipotle. I just had a bowl of Chipotle thirty minutes. ago. I something. hate Chipotle. Fuck off. I fucking hate <laughs> Chipotle. It's just like eating a goddamn baby diaper worth of nothing. No, you eat it in the bowl and it's better and you get but no, meat it's still it's like meat. Eh. They do now. Interesting. Do they use that shitty queso that they made too? I can't believe I forgot the McRib, Brian mm. said. Uh, blah, blah. Got one last week. Dope. Don't Whataburger get me is good. I love Whataburger. They make quesadillas if you want to hold up the line. Damn right. <laughs> 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 Who has good custard? Ann's Dairy Cream. That's yeah. fast food. Yeah, Ann's Dairy. Yeah, I guess, well, it's yeah, not a chain. it's not a chain. But we didn't say, uh, I mean, dude, I guess yes, it's fast food, The sure. queso at Chipotle at, tastes like actual garbage. I'm sorry. And I'm a garbage person, I'm saying that. See, I like Moe's. I agree with Kat. I like Moe's better than Chipotle. I haven't had I have Chipotle had since the explosion of the food trucks Culver's, in Columbus, okay. Ohio. Culver's has custard? That's weird. Uh, Moe's queso is good, too. Moe's queso is very yeah. good. Qdoba's queso is better than Chipotle. Mm. I don't think I've ever eaten at... Qdoba? Qdoba. Um, it's pretty okay. Dairy Queen It's Blizzards. not my first... They have good tortilla soup there. Dairy Queen used Dairy to be Queen's solid lit. back in the day. Their hot dogs were alright. I've never really eaten actual food at Dairy Queen. I just get ice cream there. Cat, you need to go to Ann's Dairy Cream. It's in Pasadena when you're running through Baltimore again. It's right near the mall. Yeah, she, well, yeah. Q, Q, do don't. What? Wow. Mm, that's a little. Peter. Uh, 
I, listen, it's not my first choice. Um, because it always gives me heartburn. Qdoba always gives me heartburn. Like, hardcore. Oh, really? That's but weird. But the tortilla soup is good. Um, but yeah, have you ever been to a Whataburger? Let's get back to that. Whataburger? No. Because that's a, that's a Texas, a Texas thing. thing. Right, yeah, no. Very good. I have, if you find I have, yourself, you had to What's the one in California? In and out. I've been to an In and Out. Yeah, that, I think that's that wasn't really good. Really. There's steak a and Shake down here was a huge disappointment. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that's I've not Yeah, I've heard very they good. have really shitty crinkles. Yeah, Marley there. Station Mall. It's where it is. No, it's called Ann's Dairy Cream uh, at Marley Station Mall. Yep. It's, or, right it's on, it's on Richie Highway. Just look yeah. up Ann's Dairy Cream. There's a giant. And cream, uh, I think it's spelled C R E M E. Yeah, fried hot dogs. Hell yes. Double, two fried hot dogs in a bun with, with chili, chili and, and onions and mustard. No cheese. Chili cheese. And onions. You get the cheese on the fries. You get cheese the on the hot dog. Do you remember when we sat there and got that fucking just <laughs> batch of garbage food? And was, we were literal the worst people. Alive. It was like a thousand degrees outside. We're just like instant. Like before you even get it in your mouth, it's just meat sweats. Well, we were just like sweating <laughs> into the food. So it was like extra salty. So good. The lines aren't too bad. They're so good at it though. Like Shakes are, I like Sonic. Mm. The, uh, the top Sonic, the Sonic. Sonic is like a. Uh, they just like built, a dark horse. They built a new. Well, not in Texas. There's literally one on every fucking. Really? Corner. Yeah. Well, I mean around here. Yeah, know, but they built one on Joppa Road near where the Bell Rock Bell Rock Diner. Joppa. Yeah. Um, like across the street from Hooters. Yeah. Oh, uh, where's that old uh? Hooters. There you go. Hooters. Don't you like their wings? I fucking love Hooters. Yeah, I do like Sonic. They have a good bacon cheeseburger too. What's the one place? I was disappointed with Geno's too. Oh, Geno's was the reinvention yeah, best of best ice. Yeah, if you get the cherry limeade. Yeah, that is good. Oh, it's so good. The reinvention of Geno's was fucking awful. Like yeah, they should have been ashamed. Face. That was so bad. Yeah. Um, best slushies ever at Sonic. What's the one place? Uh, I can't remember. Gotta get the Sonic Blast. Sonic Dark Horse equals laugh. <laughs> Well, there's not a lot of them around here, so when, yeah. when you try it and you're like, oh, shit, there's this isn't like terrible. three, I think, in driving distance from where we sit. Yeah, there's one There's one, the one up York Road, there's one on Joppa Road, and there's one on Liberty Road. Damn, not that you know. <laughs> Kate and I like to go Sonic together. It's cute. Um, well, there's the Taco Bell by my house now. You know that, right? There's a Taco Bell, like, right at Canton Crossing. Come, come, you know that. Are you right? fucking kidding me? There's a Taco Bell near Canton Crossing? At Canton Crossing, yeah. Are you lying to me? No. Are you serious? Yes. Do you know where the BJ's is? No. Okay, so well, here's Canton Crossing. If you go a little further this, down. I need a moment. If you go a little further down, there's the BJ's. Uh-huh. And it's on the left. There's a there's a Taco Bell in its parking lot. You're literally five minutes away from a Taco Bell right Matt? now. Matt? Are you coming up on Friday? Gonna go get some Taco Bell in Canton? Let's do this. Date night. Done. You're coming down to Canton to get Taco Bell? Yeah. We're warm. All the taco fucking places around here? You gonna give it to that shitty corporation with their shitty food? <laughs> Matt said, yes, God. <laughs> Work, bitch. Okay. Taco Bell date night on Friday. And you gotta know it's a new one. Matt and I accidentally went to a grand reopening of a Taco Bell. We got a selfie with a packet sauce. Like a soft packet. It was like a dude dressed as one. I saw. Yeah. It was great. You make me sad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, best Chinese carry out. Well, we, we did that. that we did that week. episode. Go watch the one last week. We did the yeah. uh, Chinese Asian taste. Um, John. Actually, no. <laughs> Matt said, "John, mind your business." <laughs> <laughs> me and Matt are gonna have a fist fight. Um, I can guarantee you, you'd win. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. The uh, I went to a new I went to a new Chinese food place. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll that? I'll tell you about it when we start. Okay. Basically, you beat Chick Fil A sandwich. Well, I'll give you I'll give you a, a, a preview of it. You're right. Basically, I ate a, I ate a whole bowl of bacon, that was like a quarter inch thick, that and it was awesome. it was like it was like. Oh my god, oh, it was so god. much. You got to record. Oh, okay. Well, good job, everybody. That was awesome. Yeah, chaps. I guess to Chaps. Chrissy Mattel, John, get out of my station. <laughs> <laughs> chaps. Right. I guess Chaps could be considered. Uh, yeah, I could, it could be considered. That's fast food. Yeah. So, yeah, let's. I'll go with Chaps. 
Because sure. Chap's fucking delicious. Taco Bell is my guilty pleasure. Yes. Taco you know, Bell is a lot of people's guilty pleasure, I think. Taco Bell is fucking delicious. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it's an evil corporation whatever, that serves food that will fucking kill fucking you. Whatever fucking horse meat that they use is so good. Ugh. Have you ever seen that shit get made? Just comes in a giant bag? No. That's fine. I go full cone head on some Wawa subs. Oh, see? Well, there we go. Like... We're talking about Wawa and shit. Like, I'm going Sheets. You know what? Wawa has delicious mac and cheese. You gotta get it. Sheets has delicious everything. Because Sheets is fucking amazing. Yeah, I can't really like Sheets, too. Fucking Schmuffin? That's the greatest hangover food in the world. Check, 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 check. Woo! Some good check, ass baby, Check, baby, check, baby, one, yes, two, God. three. <clears throat> You're garbage. I mean, you're more garbage. Don't fuck up! What? I don't know anymore. Ugh, oh, you're so garbagey. Don't fuck yourself. Yeah. Don't fuck yourself. Okay. Hey! Hi! Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Rude Cooking School Podcast. My name is John Hauser the Third, And with me is the always... I don't know. I got nothing on this Always one. Always taco, never bell. No. <laughs> no. Always Dorito Locos and never Gordita. Rebecca Madriaga. Hey! hey! Uh, we just got done a conversation with everybody on Facebook about um, and we're still looking at it. everybody's still chiming in. Sheets rules. Somebody said. Uh, it's because they know they know what the good stuff is. Yeah. Sheets hot um, dogs are good. We just did a. a, a pre-show term uh, uh, topic of favorite fast food favorite fast food and and we are including um like convenience store food places like 7-eleven and one off uh, and one off places like there's a there's a famous uh pipi sandwich place that's in the uh parking lot of a strip club chaps called chaps yeah and there's also um what were we talking Anne's dairy cream Mm mm-hmm so, yeah, we're, we're counting any sort of food that you get served in a bag to go. And also, we were, at the end there, we were talking about, like, there's Wawa and Sheets. And usually people pick a side on that. Yeah. So. I pick Royal Farms. <laughs> I'll still pick, I'll still pick uh, Sheets over both of them. Damn. Dude, their sandwiches are good. Mm. And they have yeah. Schmuffins. And Schmuffins do sound dirty. Mm. I get we we did bow, kick a yeah. bow, bow. we did some schmuffin in last night. Oh my god, Ooh. that's inappropriate. This is a child podcast. This is not a fucking child <laughs> podcast. Listen with your children. Look, listen. We just did some. Look and listen. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We've been. Shout I've out. been listening too much. Fucking. <laughs> I love them so much. I did that automatically, and I don't know what you want. Listen. <laughs> and look. Fuck. Look and listen. Look and listen. Oh, God. I love them. Did you see? Do you follow them on Instagram? I don't think so. Oh. I follow they, them on Twitter. They occasionally post, like, when people get tattoos. And, like, these girls got friendship tattoos and one says look and one says listen. And I really want that. Oh, my listen. God. That's great. I really want somebody to get a look and listen tattoo with me. I have a poster signed by both of them that you gave me. Yeah. Because we're friends. Friends. I have, friends. I have a poster that I made that I got signed by them. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You got sued for that. I didn't get sued. You got sued. No, I didn't. Those fucking assholes. Mm. Okay, you didn't get sued. I didn't get sued. Mm. You know, I was thinking about that today, and it made me really angry. Yeah. Just, I think about it every day. It fucking makes me sick. It's fine. I literally was holding something in my hand, and I crushed it. And I'm yeah. not even kidding you. I wanted to text you about it. And I forgot. Oh, damn. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, no, I made them a gift, <clears throat> and it was great, and they loved yeah. it. Yeah. And they have it hanging in their podcast loft. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, and they signed a copy for me, so that's pretty cool. Really cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so this episode, I'm hoping, will come out on Friday. Um, we are switching over um, podcast providers, uh, I think. We might go another month with the one we have now, just so I can um, get myself acclimated to the new system. Yeah. And then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna move everything over. We're trying to be on Spotify, Hanny. Yeah. We're trying to get on Spotify, basically. And um, the the podcast provider we're on now doesn't 
they're not partners with Spotify. So Spotify is homophobic. Right. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Spotify. Yeah. What? I love streaming that music for free and having to listen to annoying Verizon ads. So, uh, yeah, uh, this uh, this would be out Friday, no matter what. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I've been having a week. But besides that stuff, because nobody gives a shit about my personal issues. Yes. Yeah, I don't. Uh, what? I definitely do not. Care. You're a terrible friend. Yes, I am. Thank oh, you. Oh well, at least you admit it. I, it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, of course. You fucking sack of shit. Thank you. God damn it. I hate you so much. Yeah. Welcome to the last episode of the Rick Cooking School Podcast. By the way, happy Pi Day. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Happy Pi Day. And rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. We miss oh, you. man. That I bummed me out. I, I was can't a, believe you killed him. I was a, What? I didn't, I didn't kill him. Mm. That wasn't me. Mm. I wasn't talking about Stephen Hawking and the motherfucker died. Mm. Mm. Maybe I was jerking off Stephen Hawking. Wow, that's... But, you know. Actually, really insensitive. What? I'm gonna need you to bleep that out. Sexy motherfucker. What are you talking? You know he was a pervert, right? Yeah. Like, for reals was like, yeah. and that he was like a swinger and shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, good yeah. on you. Yeah. Live your fucking life. Shit's awesome. <laughs> um. So, what have you had? You want me to go first with what we had? That okay. was awesome. Okay, okay. okay. you go. Uh, we didn't really go anywhere out of the usual. I mean, we went to Drag Brunch, but whatever. Um, but actually, we went to dinner at Kate's parents' house Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And her dad made a standing rib roast and some mashed cauliflower. Damn, for real? Broccoli. It was delicious. That's a lot of meat, man. It was so many meat. I still have half a standing rib roast from Christmas in my freezer. <laughs> Yeah. It's just so much I at think once. That's probably what that was. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Either that or yeah. he had like a little one. I don't know. It was delicious though. It was so good. Roy so. Rogers. That was a good call. Ah, uh, Roy Rogers. So good. Shout that's out what... to Hardy's. When they were around. Oh, Hardy's. Well what about Carl's Jr.? They're all the same thing. Yeah. They're all There's the same, Hardee's, same thing. Uh, on 175. Mm. I, I, I'm not gonna go eat it. I'm just shouting right it out. I used to eat there all the time when I was a kid. They had one by my house. Yeah. Yeah. I bet they did. Got my, my Days of Thunder uh, like Matchbox cars from there. Mm. Yeah, girl. Okay. Rubbin ain't racing. Rubbin is racing. Okay. Um. So you had that? Yeah, so that was like my memorable meal. For the Does day. it? Yeah, everything else. I've just like been making my own food. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's great. And that can be memorable too if it's you like, eat something. It's like chicken and oh. brown rice. <laughs> chicken and brown rice and bro broccoli is like a meal prep. Okay, so I had a really good week. Um. Tonight I made uh, cheddar broccoli soup in a bread bowl. That was oh really good. I let you try that. Soup. Yeah, that soup was good. And I'm going to take some home with me. You are, yeah. Because I'm going to have lunch tomorrow. That soup was banging. So good. And I loved it because I made it just from my head. Like, I was like, okay, what goes in there? Mm -hmm. like, did I you make a roux? I did. Dope. Yeah. But I, like, it makes me happy when I don't have to rely on a recipe. Yeah. Because... I'm at the point now where I don't really use recipes as recipes anymore. Uh -huh. I just look at as them for guideline? guidelines and maybe proportions. Dope. But like things like soup, I can wing easily, you know, because it's not complicated. And then right. you, you just go by taste and look. Yeah. Like, okay, it's not thick enough, add more roux. Totally. That kind of thing. Okay. Um, but that was good. Um, uh, oh, new Chinese food place. So... Remember when Richard Gorelick was on the episode, was on the podcast a couple weeks ago, yeah, yeah, or a yeah. month or whatever? Of How could I um, forget? And Richard? he was telling us about, um, oh shit, it just just left my head. Wow, you're the worst. Oh, it's Asian. Oh, it's got like a fucking fake ass name. Son of a bitch! It. I just had it. It ran away from me. Wait, leave it a blank space of no talking. Hold on, and then enter your voice. <laughs> What? Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, up there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> when you remember it, just it out. I just did it again. Um, well, anyway, there was... Um, wow, he's really going to look... It's going to bother him. There was... Uh, I went and did a, a, like a supper club thing that we do. You know, do that like once a month with a bunch of people? Yeah. And that was fucking just great. Did you yeah. see the 8,000 pictures of steak I posted on fucking Instagram? No. 
Oh. I posted a lot <laughs> of pictures of these steaks. What? Okay. Fucking jerk. What if I did? That'd be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go unfollow you. That'd be on real Instagram. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's funny. But yeah, um, so I made. We were having steak night. Mm -hmm. So my friend Sam bought a bunch of steaks. Uh, my friend Ginny cooked them. Mm -hmm. She grilled them. But we all made sides and shit. So yeah. I made a literal bucket of uh, spinach, cream spinach. Oh, uh, okay. Like I made a giant pot of it. Damn. And then had to put it in a bucket because that was the only container. Like, you know, like a painter's bucket. You're like a piece of garbage. Oh, so good. Um, and then the, uh, the food was just amazing. So there was, there was like amazing rolls and I think Ginny made... Uh, potatoes all gratin mm -hmm. and we made a like we animated a wedge salad so i made like a blue cheese a old school blue cheese dressing for it like that yeah. kind of thing like and every we just all get together and hang out and fucking drink and grill and it was just a really really good night of hanging out with some really talented cooks and people that just made food you know not everybody's amazing Orient, Orient Express. That's what it's called. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell. Oh, How could damn. you not remember? That's what I said. It was really generic. That's why I always forget it. Um, steak night rolled. Steak night rolled. Yeah. Lila made um, rolls. Right? I don't remember a lot about it. I got really drunk. <laughs> I got really... Dude. Yeah. I was... I was like four or five in by the time I got there. Then drank another six... And whiskey, which Zen showed up, and then wa and then wine. Yes, she made brioche buns. I was really drunk. Yeah. On a Sunday, it was no good. That sucks. Oh, it was great. Monday. It was so Monday. fucking great. Oh, it sucked. It sucked on Monday. <laughs> Sam said brioche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so Orient Express. That's okay. the place he told us about. Remember, okay. he said there's a place. And there's like a secret menu. Secret menu. Ba -ba -ba. So. If you go online and look up Orient Express... Secret menu. Well, no, just Orient Express, they have a, like, you... If you live close, there's a delivery service that will deliver it to you. Oh. But they have the secret the secret menu on their delivery service. Oh. Yeah, and I found it. Dad. Did Do, you screenshot it to keep it? Oh, no, no, I, I, I had to order it for pickup. So I ordered it through that company okay. and then went and just okay. picked it up. Dude, it was legit. Like even their like quote unquote garbage, yeah. Chinese food was amazing. Really? Yeah. Like their rice was good. Damn. Yeah, just the white rice was fucking good, and I was like, holy shit. So I got I got this thing that turned out to be something that I didn't. I thought it was one thing. It was another thing. Okay. So it was like dried salt pork, dried fried salt pork with scallion, and I was like, oh okay. That sounds great. Like, fried fucking chunks of pork. And what it turned out to be was literally just scallions and pork belly that was sliced into quarter-inch thick, like, you know, rashers of bacon. Yeah. And that was it with, like, uh, soy sauce. So it was all that fried together, and it was fucking amazing. Because <laughs> it was just fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you know, Chinese-flavored bacon, you know? Like, it was really good. And... Um, I'm excited. I, I should have went because I was I was telling Richard I was going there, and he's like, "Get this Szechuan fish," and I was like, "Okay." But then I, I kind of didn't want fish. But next time I'm getting Szechuan fish, like because I wanted something spicy, and yeah, I was hoping yeah. this was gonna be spicy. And then after watching um, uh, Ugly Delicious, have you started watching that on Netflix yet? Not yet. You need to watch it. No, we you just will... we binged all of Queer Eye. Okay, it, Ugly Delicious is only I think. Eight episodes. That's how much Queer yeah, Eye was. So we'll probably watch it. So good. Have you watched Queer Eye? Then? No. You, can you believe? I, I didn't you, like the first one. Well, that was unfortunate what you just did to my microphone. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, she left everybody. Mm. That is extremely homophobic. Why? Why wouldn't you like it? I mean, I didn't. I don't mind it. I just, there, I had no interest in it. Okay. I don't well, have no interest in this you one. You need to watch it. It's hilarious. It's great. 
I find it a they're little... They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they look like Linda Evangelista, they're models. I mean, I get the whole setup of it, but I kind of find it a little weird that, like, like some dude has to have, like, gay guys help him out with shit. You know, like, the guy doesn't voluntarily sign up, right? No, uh, that I did not know. Like, their friends, like, nominate them. Like, this guy is Because he's tragic. a schlubby... Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I Come get it. fix him. But, yeah. Drops the mic. Because I was mad. <laughs> That's fucking... Um, but, yeah, no, I... I like the Ted uh, Ted Allen, right? Yeah, the original like, queer. Yeah, I liked With his Carson, parts because it was yeah. the food the yeah, food Yeah, there's parts. a food one but, this time around also. Yeah, I know, but I don't like watching a whole show to fucking see, like, some tragic fucking schlub get made up. No, but it's, it's like, great, though. I don't like reality TV. It's not a thing Just I do. Just The first episode is the best episode. Okay, I'll so watch the first. If you're going to watch one, I'll watch the first watch episode. Watch that one. Okay. okay. Fine. Fine. And Jonathan Van Ness is my spirit animal. Ugh, fine. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Fine. But yeah, uh, Leanna got like Moo She Pork, which was awesome. Right. Uh, just everything we got was really good. We got this, uh, it was called Paper Chicken. Is it made out of paper? Yes. Dope. It's just, you know, folded paper that tastes like chicken. <laughs> they just like soak paper. Origami in, chicken. In broth. Chicken grease. Yeah. No. Um, apparently it's, uh, they take, like, chicken and you, they cook it in paper, but they do it in aluminum foil, which is kind of, you know, uh, a little dishonest, because it's not paper, it's aluminum foil. Right. But it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I th they grill them, I think they grill them, because they were, they were blackened on the outside, and then they put, like, a sauce on them, then they wrap them, and then I think they, they steam them or bake them. Mm-hmm. And they're so soft when they come out. They're so good. Um, but I'm looking forward to, like, doing a deep dive into that. Because they got, they got crazy shit. They got, like, stomach. They got intestine. They got, like, all the goofy, like, weird, weird parts that I like. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm excited about some crazy Chinese food. Okay. Um, and I am excited for Friday because I'm going out to eat for a date night. And oh. we're going to be in your neighborhood. Oh, where are you going? Uh, foraged. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah you're talking about that. I'm super excited. I've heard nothing but good things. Um, yeah. See you later. Um, yeah, I'm excited to go. Yeah. Like, I haven't been to, like, a restaurant where I'm like, fuck, yeah. Normally, it's just like, okay, let's get out of the house and go somewhere and eat a good right. dinner. This one I'm, like, really excited about because I've had friends that have gone there. And um, everybody's raving about it. The guy knows what he's doing. He cooks like weird pig parts and stuff like that. You know. Why are you making a face? Weird pig parts. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. If you're into that. Jowls are good. I mean, that's fine. Tails are great. Have you ever had pigtail? No. It's fucking delicious. It's so cute. You would love it. It's cute as shit and it tastes awesome when you chew on it. Forge is so good. See? Yeah, I'm looking forward to some shit. Good. Man. So, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Well, I hope you enjoy that. I will. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. We will uh, talk to you guys later. See you guys later. And uh, it was nice talking to everybody. Yeah, thanks for participating, good everybody. participation today, everybody. You did good. I'm really proud of you. You don't like the name Forage? Is that what you're saying? I mean, the guy goes and forages fucking mushrooms. Huh? He comes by it, honestly, at least. Yeah. It's legit what he does. True from the, uh, barbecue truck. It's a place to swine. Oh, yeah, smoking swine. Smoking swine. Great. Smoking swine is fucking dope. Fuck yeah. Well, that's Drew, and he, uh... Yeah, I know, I met Drew. I went and drove and bought us food once, remember? I know. But he said he doesn't like the he doesn't like the name. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. At the fucking dinner, everybody's like, "Why didn't you ask Rebecca to come?" Yeah, because that's rude of you not to invite me. I I don't invite people to clubs that I get invited to. 
It's not my fucking thing to just be invite motherfuckers. I'll let you know how it is, True. How's that? Word. Because I'm, I'm looking for, like, apparently he does socket, which... Socket? Pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, like... Like eyeball socket? Yeah, but apparently it's like temple and socket kind of thing. So... But it's a big chunk of meat, apparently, you know? Oh. And, yeah, I'm excited. That's weird. So. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Adios. Later.